Hey YouTube, what's going down family? It's your girl Tina. Come on, tell them thank you. Give them some glory. All right, today's episode is dealing with mail art. And I have some packages that I have to get out in the mail. And so I decided to come and do a mail art share with you all. In the past, I've had some of my subscribers to email me asking me, can you do mail art without stamps? Now, all of the shares that I have posted on my video concerning my mail art have been done with stamping. And so I want to come in and I want to show today that you do not have to use stamps. Today, I will be using nothing but stickers. Everything is self-adhesive that I'm going to use in my mail art. Let's dive in. I have these Teresa Collins um, sticker set. I have some washi tape that I pulled out. These are some envelopes that came from a Christmas card box I got from Goodwill for a quarter. I think it was 12 cards in there. I have these label letters from Tim. I have Tim Small Talk Occasion stickers. I have some just some basic mailing labels. I got these from Goodwill. You can buy these anywhere at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Then I have some of these mason jar stickers. I'm sorry for the glare if it's showing a glare, you all that I'm going to use. And then lastly, these are some very, very, very old alpha stickers from Creative Memories that I've had in my stash. All right, so the answer to the question is, no, you do not have to use stamps to make mail art. You can use nothing but stickers. You can draw. There are people who are um, posted on Instagram. If you just do a search for mail art on Instagram, um, it should be some people that come up. They do hand-drawn mail art. Okay, well, I'm not an artist. I can't draw. But I can stamp, and I can put down some stickers. And guess what? I think that my mail art is real cute. Now, that's just me. All right, let's dive in. Real quick, simple, and easy. No rhyme, no reason. Um, these envelopes are like a silver gold it has a little a little sheen to it real real cute so i thought that would be fitting for a fall to send out some mail right all right so let's get started now with these washi tapes i always use a little adhesive because i don't like stuff coming up now this leave in my house i definitely don't want nothing coming up the first thing i'm gonna do is get one of these little labels right here this is going to be a return label. Always make sure that you are starting on the right side. Okay, now these labels are very, very, like, sticky. I mean, I've tried these out, these Teresa Collins, and I left them for a few days. I tried to pull them up and tore the paper, so I know I don't have to put any adhesive on there. But when we're dealing with this washi tape, we must put us some little adhesive because honey stuff gets crazy and your stuff start coming off now you don't need a lot you need just a little a little dab especially um you have to know the texture or whatever you you reinforcing because some textures um will be slippery and then it won't stick so you just got to be careful you got to just kind of know the product that you use and this washi tape right here is one of those that adhere pretty good uh, when I use the glossy accent. And I like using glossy accent because it really, it dries kind of fast, but it really, really holds. All right, so we're going to start off with putting a strip of this washi tape down. Okay, no rhyme, no reason. All right. Now, I'm going to move on to some of this washi tape. These are just words in here, creative, secrets, journey. I want to um, put some of this down here in this corner. Again, no rhyme, no reason. You just put a few little dabs of the glossy accent. I do not cut this 
on this particular project, I'm just going to tear. And where it lands is where it lands. Okay? That's all I'm doing with this one. Now, if you worried about um, the tape hanging over the edge, we're going to cut that off. So you don't too much have to worry about, you know, if it's going to be over the edge. It's male art. It does not have to be perfect. So you don't worry about that. We're going to just cut that off um, as we go along, okay? Now, the next thing I want to do is want to do the address label. I'm using, again, just plain white mailing labels. And I'm going to adhere that right there. These labels are pretty um, good with adhesive as well. So I've already tested that out. I don't have to reinforce that, okay? All right, we're going to go up here to this corner. Um, as you can see, I use that tape. I've used this one. And now I'm going to use a single word tape. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put a few dots. A few dots. And <clears throat> don't, again, don't worry about it overlapping. We're going to cut that off. Okay. All right. Perfect. Make sure you rub it in. I don't know what I did right there, y'all. Talking, running my mouth. I don't know. All right, just give it a few minutes to adhere and to dry. All right, we're going to take our scissors and do those, clean up the little edges, like I told you. No rhyme, no reason. Now, some people might want to just flip it to the back. I choose to cut it off. It's your choice. And you see how nice that looks just like that. All right, let's keep moving. Next, we are going to choose one of our stickers over here all great things have small beginnings we're going to use that to go up here at the top now what i'm going to do is i am going to cut this and make it actually two i'm going to put some um, glossy accent real lightly on the back because these have a tendency of peeling up okay now, keep in mind when you're doing mail art, you want to know where you go, what type of post-it you will be using. Sometimes I use all stamps for the total amount of posting, which means I need extra space for to put the stamps down so too much won't be covered up. Sometimes I you I let them weigh it and give me the little white uh, packing slip like this with the postage on it. These particular um, envelopes will have individual stamps. So I'm going to kind of leave this area open so that I can place my stamps there. Okay. All right. There we go so far. Now, let's move on to addressing this to who it belongs to. This particular, um, this particular envelope is going to mail ARC. So, I'm going to use these label letters, and we are going to put her name on this envelope, okay? Now, it's no rhyme, no reason. It's how you want to do it. I'm going to simply put these letters here first. I do not um, rub them all the way down because... I'm going to put a little dot of adhesive, but I do want to pre-place them just to get an idea of, you know, what it looks like and if it's in the right place. So with the with with using these type of stickers, you do not have to put it all the way down, okay? And see, I did that backwards. That's what I that's. It's a good thing that I did not put it down all the way. All right. So you make these kind of mistakes, but it's okay because it's all art. And sometimes my mistakes are the best 
part of my art, to be honest with you. When I make a mistake, especially when I can't lift it up, at the end, I end up liking what I've created or put together for design, however you want to say it. All right. So that's the male part. And then I want to use something bold for the last part, which is arc. Okay. So we're going to use these alphas here. No rhyme, no reason. And we're going to put this down. These alphas are so old, you all, I could call them vintage to me because I know they are at least 10 years old. This is when I was a creative memory consultant. Okay. All right. So now you see that space. I don't like that. So I want to put them closer which I'm going to just move. That's the good thing about not taping it down. I don't care about the paper ripping a little bit. It's art. All right, so now we're going to dab a little glue because I think I know this is where I want it to be. So we're going to put just a little bit. And now I'm adhering them all the way down. Okay, and you see how this envelope is just transforming. I love it already. No rhyme, no reason. If you are a person that likes everything perfectly straight, then you probably won't like how I just put those on there. But I'm that type of girl who likes stuff to be a little crooked, a little to the side, all that good stuff. All right, so that's it. So now I will put my return address here. I will put her address here. And we almost finished with this envelope. All right, I want to put a mason jar on here. So let's find which one of these jars I want. And I think I want this one. So on this um, particular sticker sheet, these are very, very hard to peel off. I mean, these things, sometimes I wonder, did they design these to be a sticker? Cause it is so hard to peel up so i usually just cut them and um then i have a better grip so i'm gonna put that there i love that all right i'm going back over here because um I'm, I'm going to use this occasion small talk and get a sticker out of here um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Um, I guess I could have picked this out right before. I know y'all saying Tina, 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 Tina. But you know, it's like that. Okay, here we go. I want to use this one right here. It says open if you dare. Okay. So once again, I'm just going to put a few drops of the glossy accent and I'm going to place this right here open if you dare I love it all right there we go now over here with this Teresa Collins stickers we got our label from out of there I want to use some of these hearts okay So we got a heart right there. Um, I want to, I want to use this black heart. These things are super duper sticky. Boy, are they sticky. All right, I'm going to use that. Then I want to use some arrows. They have some arrows up in here that I want to use. Yes. Okay. Use that arrow right there. Okay. All right. Now we have some circles in here. And you see this whole sticker packet kind of coordinates with each other. So that's what makes it even 
better because I don't have to worry about do they match? Yeah, everything matches. So if you find a sticker book like this, you okay because you know everything is going to be matching. All right, we got some of these stickers over here that just simply says, note this. We're going to put that down. And I'm going to give one more sticker that says, keep this. Right? And let's see. Keep this. Note this. And love this. All right, you all. This is our mail art. So all I have to do now is put my return address here. Put her address here. My stamps will go there. And this is a beautiful piece of art. Tell me what you think. So the answer to the question is what? You can use whatever you have. If you have no stickers, if you have no stamps, you have some color pencils, and you know how to draw a circle and a line, hello, happy, whatever, you can do mail art. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. Till next time, y'all stay blessed. Keep creating.